Hey guys and welcome to the brand new series I'm going to be doing on the channel which is called Project Material Flip and basically what we're going to be doing is starting off with 1 million gold and we're going to be doing material flipping with materials that sell on the region wide auction house and we're going to be flipping and seeing how much gold we can make from the 1 million gold investment and how long it will take us to make a decent amount of gold. So what we're going to be doing, we've got a brand new character right here. We're going to throw over some bags and some gold, the 1 million gold to start off with, and we'll get right into it. Before we do though, what we're going to be using for um, add-ons, let's go into add-ons right here. So we're going to be using Auctionator. This is to let a different add-on work properly, which is Point Blank Sniper. Now, you need Auctionator for this to work because you need the shopping list groups um, that will be on your auctioneer. And so we're going to be using Point Bank Sniper, which basically will show us when items pop up on the auction house in live time that are worth buying to flip. And then obviously we're going to be using TSM and you obviously need the TSM app helper to let TSM run properly. Um, if you need to learn a bit more about TSM and Point Blank Sniper, I have videos on both of these add-ons and how to set them up and how to use them properly. Basically what we're going to be using though and doing is we're going to be using the groups from my flipping guide and I've recently just updated and made a huge, huge update and improvement to the material flipping side inside of my flipping guide. Uh, basically we've got new groups, we've got a whole heap of um, new items and much better operations to sell them. Right, so let's just open up TSM. So we have a brand new TSM for this character. We just created it today for this challenge. So we'll be able to see all the progress throughout our TSM dashboard and ledger. Uh, the groups that we're using is this one right here. This is my material flipping group, which has all the items that I'm going to be flipping, um, material flipping, and also the operations to sell them more properly and the settings. Now, if you want to get your hands on these, you can get my exact groups and operations and import them straight into your TSM um, by just clicking on this button right here. You can add the TSM import string that I have in my flipping guide and you'll be able to have the exact same groups um, and the operations to sell them more profitably. And also, if we just quickly run over to the auction house, you'll also be able to get my shopping list, which you're going to need for Point Blank Sniper. Um, so this is under shopping and this will have the group of all the items that I recommend flipping when you're doing material flipping. So you'll be able to import these ones also. You can just click import right here and I have both of them import strings inside of the flipping guide. So for anyone that already owned the flipping guide, um, you can grab the updated copy that has recently just came out and you will be able to use all these new imports. Um, for both TSM and Point Blank Sniper. And if you don't already own a copy, it will be the first link down below in the description box if you want to go ahead and check that out. It teaches five different methods of flipping in retail, um, a whole heap of different ones, including material flipping, um, will be inside of the flipping guide, and it also teaches Wrath Classic flipping if you want to make some quick and easy tokens flipping on Wrath Classic. However, let's get right into this series. So first of all, we're going to need obviously our bags and the starter gold to get going. So we'll just grab that off my main character here. And there we have it, 1 million gold to start off with and our bags and we're ready to go. We'll also deck out our character to make it look a bit better. So you know we're going to go with that tuxedo transmog. Let's go ahead and set this all up. So there is the start, 1 million gold. We'll see how much more we can make from it with only flipping materials. All right, let's throw in the rest of these bags here. And saw the transmog out, and then we can start getting into it. So let's um, get the transmog mount up on Buffy. All right, let's go ahead and throw these on. Very nice. Very, very nice, and let's Finish it off by transmogging the rest of this stuff. All right, we need to fix the boots. Let's go with these ones right here, the dress boots. 
We don't want any gloves and we can get rid of the belt also and I think we're pretty decked out. Let's um change the dagger. Have we got any good ones on this account? I don't think we do. Alright, I think we're just gonna go with this. Looks pretty good to me. Alright, so first of all we need to make a TSM macro so we want it so it cancels, does shopping, neither of those. Confirm, craft, vendor. Alright, and what modifier? We won't be using a modifier. Alright, awesome. So we've got that set up. Let's throw that on the bars. Should be down the bottom here. Yes, it is. And now what we'll do is we will change that. We will change the keybind of these two mouse will scroll up and down. So let's go into our key bindings which are right here action bar and we want to change two to scroll up three to scroll down there we go All right we're ready to start so if we just open TSM back up here is the dashboard the beginner dashboard and hopefully we can grow it up to a lot of gold alright so let's get right into it so first of all I'll just show you a bit about point blank sniper and how it actually works so you can set right here a price source that you want it to go by you want to make sure that you have your shopping list selected so if you have the flipping guide you want to have buffy material flipping and now the interesting part about this add-on is you can change what percent it will actually show you the items and this is in live time so if an item pops up like any time right now why this is why you're on this page it will actually pop up live and so you can snipe some of the good deals that people post for really cheap. Now the way we're going to be doing it for the start of this is we're going to be buying all of the materials that are inside, inside of my shopping list under 60% of the market value. And then what we're going to be doing is selling them a minimum at 65 all the way up to 500% of the market value or 750 of the market value. The main spot we're going to be selling at will be around 100% of the market value. So we're buying around under 60% of the market value and aiming to sell it around 100% of the market value. And that will be where our profit comes from. And we're going to be buying pretty much all of the materials that meet the criteria. Now, for an example, this is a perfect flip. There is some posted for only one gold and 49 silver. And the market value is 5 gold 92 silver so this is definitely a really good deal we can just buy it right here or we can go into the page and have a bit of a closer look so really we could buy this all the way up to the market value which would be around here we could go ahead and buy all of these up or we can just stick to under 60 percent of the market value so we're going to go through here, like that would be a good deal. Pretty much all of these are a good deal, except the odd ones that I like to be a bit careful about are ones like this. If you look at the dashboard and the, like the tooltip for this item, it says that the minimum buyout is 3 gold and 49 silver, which it is, and the market value is 6 gold. Um, but if you look at the region sale average, it's 1 gold and 68 silver. So in the past, um, it's been selling on average for one gold and 68 silver but recently the market value has went up as you can see it's went up 103% um, recently the market has went up for this item and then so the minimum the min buyout is actually lower than the region sale average so these are the only items that I would like to be a bit careful about it just means that the market value of this specific item has went up recently um, and this could be a good thing or a bad thing. It just makes it a bit riskier. Uh, but for an example, if you look at this one, so like I still buy these ones that look like that. Um, however, you just need to be a bit careful. You don't want to buy like hundreds of thousands of them if they're a bit like this, because you never know if the market value could crash back down next week um, to around like the region sale average price. Um, but a deal like this one right here, so this is extremely safe and easy flip to do. Um, if you look at the region sale average, it's six gold and 59 silver. And then the market value is five gold and 92 silver. The min buyout, which we could buy it out right now for one gold and 49 silver, 
is way below both the market value and also the region sell rate uh, average. So you want to make sure if it's a flip like this, you know 100% you're going to be able to make gold. It's 100% safe and the market will not drop down um, or will go up crazy amount. So this would be like a perfect item that we'll be looking for. Um, but to keep it simple, we've pretty much got the operation set up on this with TSM also where we can buy out every single one of these and this will always have them posted at a profitable price so we can just go through here literally buying all the items up and as you can see it selects them and then what you want to do is click on start again and it will bring up all the new ones with the new price of the lowest price then you can go ahead to simply just keep on doing this until that one item is gone off this screen that means you're brought up to over 60 percent of the market value which is perfect then you can start posting them on the auction house and you should be the lowest price and all of the operation will work properly then. So we'll go ahead and I'll show you what I mean. We'll keep doing it with this specific item. We'll keep refreshing until it is gone from the list, meaning that we've went over 60% of the market value for this item, which is perfect. And then we can go grab them out of the auction house and simply post them with the TSM operations, which you can find inside of the flipping guide. So we'll keep doing this until it no longer is on the screen. All right, there we go. As you can see, we just keep on buying it until it no longer showed up on here. That means we're at over 60% of the market value is the next cheapest one. So that is perfect. Uh, let's go ahead, grab them all from the mailbox, and then we'll use TSM to post them up on the auction house for us at the right price. And basically we'll be doing that with all of the items that are inside of the groups from the flipping guide and we'll see how much gold we can make from doing it. So we wanna make sure we have this group right here selected. You just want to go to auctioning and then run a post scan. And now this will post it for us. All you got to do is um, spin the mouse wheel up and down if you have the TSM macro set up. And as you can see, we've got them posted up on the auction house. We bought them for around like two gold, under three gold, and then we're reselling them for three gold and 85 silver each. All right, so what I'll do right now is I'll go through this list and I'll buy out all of these items up to over 60% of the market value. So we have all of these items to sell. And then I'll throw them up on the auction house and we'll see how we go. So I'll just go down through the list, buying all of these materials. And then once we're at the bottom of the list, I'll click on start again. And this will refresh all of these listings and it'll show us the new cheapest price. And then we'll go ahead, keep doing that, buying all of them until we have brought everything up to 60% of the market value. So everything below 60% of the market value we want to buy up. All right, perfect. So we've got all the materials that were under 60% of the market value. Let's go ahead and grab them out of the mailbox and we'll throw them up on the auction house. So we've got a whole heap. Uh, we spent, what, close to 30K, 28K of materials and we'll throw them up on the auction house and they should start selling right away. That is the beauty about selling materials and reagents. They sell extremely quick on the auction house uh, so you can make your gold back very, very quickly and then reinvest it into more flips. All right, so let's go ahead and throw these all up on the auction now. So we just use TSM, select the group right here, run post scan, and this will scan in all of the items that we've just brought. And this will have them posted up on the auction house for a profitable price and the best possible price they can be at. As you can see, if we're undercutting the competitors and that is what we want to see. So we'll go ahead, we'll post all of these. Just scroll our mouse wheel up and down. It's very quick and easy to do uh, using the TSM macro. And they'll quickly get all the materials posted. And then we'll check out what the next stage is um, that I'm going to be showing you. All right, so we've got everything posted. Super quick and easy. Just from them materials, we should be able to make about 9.3K just from them quick materials that we brought just then. And obviously we're gonna be scaling this up and you just continuously make money because they sell so quickly. So what we're going to do now, and I'll show you the next stage, we've already got some sales coming in, but what you want to be doing 
when you are flipping materials, you want to be running cancel scans. Now cancel scans are very important. So if you've been undercut like this, you definitely want to um, cancel the listing and then just go ahead and repost it up in the auction house and you'll be the next person that will get the sales. It's very important. Uh, that is why we're also only using a 12 hour post duration, which is the lowest and the cheapest. Uh, because we're going to be doing a lot of cancel scanning and reposting them up on the auction house. So you can use the TSM macro for this too. Um, you just want to make sure you select the canceling option when you set it up in settings um, to create it. And you can just scroll your mouse wheel up and down and it makes the whole process a lot quicker and a lot easier to do. Now once we have cancel scanned and canceled all the ones that we've been undercut on, what you're going to do is just simply run over to the mailbox and then repost them back up on the auction house with TSM. So let's go ahead and grab all of these and get them back up on the auction house. All right, so we're back in the auction house. We just click on run post scan and we're going to repost all of the items once again. So let's go ahead and do that. And now once we've done this, what I like to do now is go back to Point Blank Sniper um, and run the sniper and see if we're getting, um, if we can buy up any more items. Sometimes you come across people posting materials way below the market value. You say then the price is, for example, 10 gold. Uh, the market value is 10 gold and the lowest one to buy is 10 gold. Some people will just come in and say, I want to sell mine quick or whatever they think and they'll post it for say five gold, half of the, half the price of the next cheapest one listed. Um, this is where we come in and we can snipe up the item and um, then resell it for a proper price. All right, so we've got everything posted. Let's go ahead and buy up these. Oh, that's very nice. 50 gold each for the Spirit of Harmonies and we should be able to get around 100 gold plus each for those, which is really, really good. That's what we like to see. So let's just go through, buy everything up and we'll do this for a little bit, um, maybe for like half an hour or so and we'll see how much we can grow the auction house in that amount of time and we basically just rinse and repeat the process that we're doing and the cool thing about this add-on say for an example we've brought everything that is under 60 percent of the market value so there's nothing nothing from our group our shopping list that is posted on the auction house for below that the cool thing about this is it updates live so as soon as someone posts an item like just like that that is that is below our thing um, it will pop up right away and we can go ahead and buy it and then um, rinse and repeat. It's not like TSM where you got to wait. It's instantly will pop up the items and then you can quickly buy them for a really good price. Now, why nothing is popping up? You can just simply either run cancel scans just like this and then throw things back up in the auction house or you could wait a little bit. But we'll do this for a little while and we'll start to grow the auction house very quickly. And the cancel scan is done. Let's go ahead, get these canceled and throw them back up on the auction house right away. Now this, this method that we're doing right now is really, really safe and pretty much you're guaranteed not to lose money. It's super, super, it's the safest way to flip probably. Um, they're just not crazy, crazy big margins like if you're flipping transmog and stuff, but the thing about flipping like transmogs and mounts, you don't know if they will sell. Uh, with these materials, you know they are going to sell. So this would be the safest method of flipping materials, um, using these operations and the setup that I'm using now, currently buying them for um, below 60% of the DB market. Um, this would definitely be the safest way uh, to be flipping materials. But what we're going to be doing is doing some market resetting. So for an example, um, let's uh, go ahead and I'll show you an item that we can do a market reset with, but we'll probably do this a bit later on in the challenge. All right, so here's an item that you could do a market reset. So if you look at the market value, it's 21 gold and the region sale average is 30 gold. So that's both really good. 
So we could buy and reset the price up to the market value, which is 21 gold. As you can see, there's some listed. All of these would be making a lot of profit on. So what you could do with this item is you could buy it up to 21 or the next like big chunk of um, listings. So about right here, you could buy all of these for these prices right here, which would average about 15 gold each of these items. And then you'd have them reselling for 21 gold each. Now this could be a bit riskier. Um, compared to just sniping cheap really cheap items um, but you can make a bit more gold by doing market resets so I think what we're going to do is we'll start off by just doing some sniping and uh, we'll see how much gold we make from just sniping and then we might mess around with some big market resets all right so another thing I like to do when using TSM is to put on the sounds as you can hear just then especially with flipping materials because you're going to be hearing a lot of sales. Basically, you can set up a noise every time you get a sale, and you can also set up for when a scan is complete and when you're also done selling your items. So whenever we hear that cha-ching noise, we know that we've got a sale and that we're making gold. All right, so I'll play around with this and keep on buying things for maybe like 10, 15 minutes, and then uh, we'll check if we've got any sales already and if the auction house has grown in value at all. So this gold ore, this would be another really good flip to reset. Um, we definitely want to buy those up. Um, but you could have brought, if there was more posted that was below 17 gold, you could buy this all the way up to 17 gold and you'd be able to reset the market on that very easily. All right, we've got some items. We need to repost those. You always want to make sure that you're doing cancel scans and um, reposting your item. So what I would do is first do a shopping scan with the sniper, buy everything out, list everything up on the auction house, and then do a cancel scan, list everything, do a shopping scan, and just rinse and repeat that process constantly. And that is how you'll make the most amount of gold. Um, you kind of need to do this because you're working with people, um, you're competing against everyone across your region. There will be a lot of undercutting going on. So you, to stay competitive and get a good amount of sales, you are going to have to do um, council scans pretty regularly to actually flip materials now that the region wide auction house is a thing. Oh, very nice. The sales are already coming in. Um, we've already sold 2K of the chaos orbs, which is a really, really nice flip right there. Now, once we build up a decent catalog, of materials to flip we should see sales coming in every single second we should be able to see them come in very very quickly all right let's go ahead and buy more items this was actually a really good buy which brought them for 22 gold each and they can resell for 100 and about 100 to 170 gold very nice little flip there oh the sales are coming in and we're buying up the next lot. We went through most of them. We just need to buy up to 60% of the market value once again. All right, so we've got the sales coming in very nicely. Now, what we would do is keep on doing that. But I think we're going to end the first episode right here. This one was just basically showing you the setup and telling you what we're going to be doing. Now, if you would like to get uh, my TSM and Point Blank Sniper operations and import strings, You'll find that inside of my flipping guide. It also teaches you how to flip five different methods of flipping. And um, it's constantly updated. And if you own a copy, you'll have a lifetime worth of free updates for the guide. That'll be the first link down below in the description box if you want to go ahead and check that out. Make sure you check out the next episode because that is where we're going to be making a lot of profit.